What's going on print fam? It is time for my first ever screen printing equipment product review. This is a piece of equipment. Let's get started. All right. Now, before I start unboxing and assembling this, I want to give you a couple of caveats. This is a piece of equipment made in China. And I've had some bad experiences with Chinese made printing equipment in the past in the form of a clamshell heat press that was left plugged in and burned up on itself. The power switch is off, almost caught the shop on fire, it was a mess. So I'm nervous of Chinese products. Even though I've had a bad experience in the past, I felt like I wanted to give it one more go. Because this thing is like half the price of a similarly featured piece of equipment from a major manufacturer. The only way to know for sure if these things are any good is to assemble them, put them through their paces, and then report back to you after a couple of months. So this is going to be initial run. I'm sure it'll be fine when it first starts. The real question with this kind of stuff is over the long term if it holds up. Today we're going to be reviewing this Chinese made automatic flash. It has infrared bulbs just like m most of the higher end flashes do. The higher end manufacturers that make these things, most of them have eight. Instead of six lamps, which is what this has, it's half the price. So they skimped on two sets of lamps, which means there's not as much surface area being heated up. But that's okay, because again, it's half the price. If it works even a little bit, then it's still a good buy. Here is what comes in the package. Here's our stand, our wheels, our height adjustable tubes, and then this is the flash unit. And these are the bulbs They were tucked away inside here. Uh, along with some instructions and the hardware and all that shit's right there. What do y'all say we start assembling this puppy? Oh, one more thing. I bought this earlier. This is a 220 plug. It doesn't say what the amps are on this, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna have to use this because it doesn't come with the plug on the unit. You have to attach your own. All right, let's get started. Whoa, whoa. I must admit, as I'm assembling this stand, it's pretty sturdy. Okay, now we're gonna take this down tube, screw it on right there. We gotta look at these tubes. See how this wire comes out of the end here? Well, when you try to fit them in here, it's buttoned up to the edge of the flash unit. And then that also concerns me because it looks like this wire may be exposed to, the, like really closely exposed to the heat. Also, we're missing the screw that goes here. They got to call them on that. But you see how I have them looped up and out of the way? You want them to be as far away from this heating element as possible. This is definitely a weak point. And when these are hot, look how close that is. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then they also shorted us a lamp. So I'm installing this one. Really hoping it works. Oh my God. Again, I'm not an electrician, so I should totally be having a pro do this. Uh, I don't know if this plug can handle the amperage but we're gonna try it out. And I gotta drag this thing out here. So there it is, mostly assembled. Now, well, I'm gonna tell you more about it once it's plugged in. Okay, we're plugged in. One of the first reasons I wanted to try this out is because for the cost, you can't beat it. It has two fairly large fans that are actually blowing air through onto the, pal uh, to the platen below. And as you guys know, if you print with water-based, this will allow you to cure water-based, especially if you want to do like, let's say a, a discharge under base with plastics all over the top. This will make it much easier to do that. So that's the first reason I bought it. Nothing. 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 Okay, are they fused? Let's see. Fuses look good. Hmm. No. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And that's the other feature. I'm rotating it away, bringing the next pallet in. And one, two, three, 
four. Get seven seconds passes, it turns off. There's no more worrying about it. I bring the next pallet around and boom, there it is. And then in uh, three, two, one, seven seconds later, click, soft. No more scorching your pallets. Uh, you know, you can set your seconds up a little higher when you're trying to preheat the pallets. And then when you're actually ready to start production, you can lower the temperature. The head was tilting down and I was hoping that these would be a little adjustments that would allow you to kind of tilt it, but they didn't seem to work. What I did is just raised the front wheels so that it's tilting more this way. And also, I just grabbed it and pulled up on it a little bit and it seemed to level it out. Styrofoam, bullshit, look at this. All right, and real quick, I'm going to log into eBay and tell those fools that they were missing a lamp and a little screw for the lamp wire clamp. I don't know. We'll see if they follow up and I'll let you guys know if they do. Okay, update. It's 2.35 and the eBay sellers just got back to me. The infrared uh, bulbs are here. Yeah. All right, and here's another thing. I just tried pulling one of these out and just the act of that alone it may have already been broke but the glass tube snapped be super cautious when you're dealing with these things this one seems to be okay this should work these are hooked up. I also want to check because it said it might have another one in, over here. Oh, there's one more. I feel like of all the places I could store it, this is the safest spot for sure. So that's where it's going to stay. There it is set up on our press. You spin it around, turns back on. Look at that. Now, one more thing I want to just... Oh shit, that one's not on. The last little lamp's not kicking. I think that one might be dead too. Uh, ah, fucker. So I think that that one might be dead. I might actually have to pull this one out of here and see. But in the meantime, I have the strong feeling those infrared bulbs will burn out quick. If something bumps them too hard, they're gonna bust. So we need to know where to buy more. So let's go to Amazon first. It's always my go-to. I scoured Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Alibaba. I can't find the exact part number for these bulbs, which is a little concerning. So that's mm, it's already showing some potential issues that could be extremely frustrating. I did leave another question to the seller asking if they sell replacement bulbs. I'll let you know when I hear something. All right, now this is hella irritating. This is the third time I'm pulling it off this so that I can use that last spare bulb in here. Hopefully that fixes it so we have all six bulbs going. At the moment, only five of them are turning on. Oh, that probably broke something. This is my last spare, I hope it works. There it goes. Okay, now the bulb works. So out of eight bulbs, six of them worked, two of them were toast. Now the next test is to do a short run. I'm just gonna set up something real quick, uh, see how it flashes. Ah. And then the final thing is gonna be finding replacement bulbs for this, cause you know they're gonna burn out. And we gotta have access to replaceable parts. I'm gonna do the footwork, try to find someone. As soon as I have the information, I will put the links in the description. Even if this thing doesn't work great or doesn't last very long, I've been looking a long time for an automatic flash, you know, that turns on and then turns itself off. Even if we have to spend more money on a, on a good one later on, this is like a good way to see if it's, a, if it's a worthwhile investment. And then if it is, I'll let you guys know and then you can decide if you want to use this one or if you want to invest in a higher quality one from m and or Raw. I mean, we'll see. There's our Monument Lightning Bolt. We're uh, inked up with some discharge white.
again, the best part, that's just sitting over there. I'm doing other shit. You don't have to stress out over it all the time, making sure that it's off, that the pallet's removed, and all that kind of shit. It just makes life easier. All right. And there's the Monument Lightning Bolt. The first round test with that flash is a smashing success. Uh, only time will tell if it's going to hold up to production, but I'll make sure to inform you guys on March the 1st. All right, that is a wrap on the uh, part one of the cheap Chinese flash automatic flash dryer. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. And other than that, y'all know what you got to do. Just take care of yourselves and stay awesome, Prep Fam. Peace out.